Days after their son was born, Kendra and Ken Duval are still thinking about how close they came to losing him. I've cried every day since he was born. It was definitely the scariest moment of my entire life. That night, the hospital Kendra planned to give birth in was closed due to a lack of staff. You don't think that, you know, a maternity ward is going to be closed. I would never have dreamed of that. A nurse made a plan for her to go to a different hospital, but when active labor started, that hospital said it no longer had room, nor did another. So the couple was told to drive back to the original hospital, and that's where there was a sudden and frightening complication. The umbilical cord was wrapped around the baby's neck. And the cord was too short to be able to unwrap it uh, manually, so they had to cut it while Kendra was pushing. The Duvals are thankful for staff who cobbled together a team to deliver their baby, but wonder what might have happened if they'd still been driving. They've gone above and beyond for us, but we feel that the system has failed, um, failed us. Ontario's five largest health care unions say hospitals need to hire 47,000 people. Kendra says the province shouldn't be trying to cap wages in health care. They deserve more respect than this. And as regular people just trying to raise a family, we deserve better than this too. Like something has to change and it has to change now. Like babies' lives are on the line. 25 Ontario hospitals have closed birth units due to staff shortages since July. That's when Ontario Health started tracking the problem. The Ministry of Health says hospitals must consider all impacts while figuring out how to deliver services with the resources available. Christine East, CBC News, Ottawa.